Hello. Back again. The J Bird Challenge keeps rolling along here. Number five tonight. Uh, man, I can't believe we got through five already. Five down, 25 to go. Uh, and tonight's topic, phobias and fears. I'm going to talk about fears as well. You know, I never really, I never really had a lot of phobias uh, per se in my life. The one thing that really kind of freaks me out, though, uh, are insects. And not any insects. Small insects, no problem. But when they get large, they really, they really do freak me out. The only large insects that don't bother me are like moths. Because I learned when I was real young that they, you know, they couldn't hurt you at all. And actually, some large moths, if you let them land on you, you could feel them. They're really soft, like furry, like a furry insect. That's like the only kind of insect that I really thought was cool. But, yeah, especially spiders, too. Spiders freak me out completely. I'm definitely arachnophobic. I mean, it's okay when they're small, but when they start to get large, they look really alien. Ugh, they give me the shivers just thinking about insects. But other than that, the only phobia I can think of is uh, <clears throat> claustrophobia. The thing was, when I was a kid, claustrophobia never affected me in any way. I mean, I'd go play hide-and-seek <laughs> and hide in the smallest, most cramped spaces uh, to win the game. But about 10 years ago, I went... Uh, I had problems with my back and I had to go for an MRI. And if you've ever been in one of these machines, gigantic machine, and they put you on a slide and they slide you into the thing, and the machine is like humming and vibrating, and the thing is like this close to you when you're laying in it. You can't move your arms or anything, and you have to lay perfectly still. And I got in that MRI machine. Man, after about 30 seconds, I was starting to get a little antsy. And I had a microphone where you could talk to the guy at the at the desk, you know, behind the wall, safe behind the wall. And uh, I was like, oh, you got to get me out of here. I'm starting to freak out. And he didn't answer. <laughs> and I tried to talk to him for like two minutes to tell him to get me out of the machine. And there was no response. Maybe he had it turned off or maybe he just learned to ignore people. But after a minute or two, I kind of calmed down and started listening to the music they were playing. And... I got through the MRI, but I did. That was the first time I really had a touch of claustrophobia ever in my life. And I really haven't had any sense. Hopefully, I won't have to go back for any more uh, <laughs> MRIs in the near future. That was not a fun experience. But <clears throat> those are like the only phobias I can think of. Now, fears, that's something else. I mean, when I was a kid, uh, I was afraid of the dark. Um, it wasn't so bad when I was, uh, when I was little, as long as there was some kind of light in the room, you know, even if it was just light shining through the window or something, that was enough, but if you, like, shut the windows and the door and turn all the lights off and it was pitch black, like, you know, you can't see your hand <clears throat> a foot in front of you, that would, that totally freaked me out, uh, you know, being a kid, your imagination runs wild and I would just get all kind of insane mental images of monsters coming after me, you know, the typical monster under the bed kind of thing, but yeah, Ugh. that was that was definitely one of my fears, but <clears throat> that kind of went away quickly as I got like, I don't know, seven, eight years old. It was just a, a young fear. And then, of course, I've, I personally have, have dealt with uh, social anxiety during my lifetime. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a shy person, uh, but it really wasn't bad when I was young. Um, my social anxiety now kind of manifests itself when I go out into uh, large crowds. Like every year when I have to go Christmas shopping and I got to battle the crowds, that's really not much fun for me. I tend to make up nice lists of stuff that I want, go right there and get the stuff and get the hell out. Because <laughs> crowds of strangers freak me out. Um, no, not completely. I mean, I did recently go see Muse live in concert, and I wasn't freaked out at all at the concert. I mean, it was such a happy experience, and the cheering crowds and everything. There was no, nothing negative about the situation, so 
I was really comfortable even though there were thousands of people around but you know when I have to go out and deal with strangers in a strange situation that's uh, that's really difficult for me and the only other fear I could really think of right offhand is also I tend to have a fear of uh, getting lost and this is uh, kind of a persistent thing that's been with me my whole life uh, it's a terrible feeling getting lost I mean I just get filled with such a sense of helplessness and dread when I get lost somewhere and <clears throat> a lot of times in my job I have to work at different venues and go to different hotels and places to work and sometimes I'll get a call and I'll have to go to work someplace I've never been before and I'm like oh my god I have to go to this place I have to find where the work area is and get to work on time and everything and I'll often if I have time I'll go find the place a day ahead of time <laughs> I'll drive there and find where the location is just so I'll know where I'm gonna be in the morning and I won't be riding around like a madman in traffic trying to find the place because that's really ugh, that's a terrible feeling and I think that feeling of of not of hating getting lost kinda comes from when I was a little kid and I was like four or five years old and my mom took me to a grocery store one day and I got separated from her and I started freaking out and running up and down the aisles screaming and looking for her and <laughs> finally they had to take me to the front of the grocery store and like we have a lost kid here in a green shirt or whatever and you know mom came and picked me up and everything was fine but yeah that's probably the the root of my fear of getting lost those traumatic childhood events and I'm running out of time so I'm gonna end this at seven minutes and by the way Megan you are a video making fool we cranked out three videos today and I only got a chance to watch one of them so I'm gonna upload this and go watch your other videos cheers